Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Koholoimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashim, Rakahachudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, led by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all you Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai to the best of your ability. Jachananawaf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, as you can see, this brother right here, you know, hey, we give props to all brothers that go out on the highways and byways to do this work. But um, it's not wise um, to because we're, we're to use wisdom, man. You don't want to tempt the Lord thy God. You don't. Why would you be out on the highways and byways with your little ones and your wife? Because you, as you can see, the brother got his little ones right here. This is some brother from um, Utah. He got his little ones sitting there. Um, you know, his wife is behind the camera. Like, you know, if you got to go out, just go out, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a war. See, this right here, it, it, it lets you know that um, our people are not really thinking about what they're signing up for. You're, you, when you come into this truth, you're signing up for a war. You're not going to take your little ones into the, to, to the war zone, man. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this was because, you know, I kind of left a comment. You know, because um, it was a, a Jake. Let's see here. Um, Salakia, bear with me here real quick. Let's go to the comment real fast. Um, I left a comment. This brother left a comment right here. Uh, you know, he was kind of going into the Friday sundown, Saturday sundown thing too. But, I mean, you, we're not, you know... Brothers can can celebrate, um, you know, or observe the Sabbath any day of the week that they want to, man. We're not getting on nobody about that, you know, um, because but we do go by the new moon. You know, we go by the new moon over here, you know, um, as far as the G GMS teaching. But um, let's get this comment real quick. This brother right here. This is the comment right here. Um, Yasiya, King of Congo. He says, I love the fact that you that you're. With your queen and your children teaching the word, the truth hurts, and that's why she left. Sub added, we must support our people because a house divided cannot stand. Blessings, king, rise, Israel. Okay, so now this is, uh, you know, this is the... Uh, it be shit going on at these camps, man. You're you're um you're putting your life on the line when you go out to these camps. You're putting your face on on, on, on camera, you know. Um, and the last thing that you want these people to see is your damn family. Why why would you want to put your family on the line like that? Because you never know. These damn Edomites are crazy as hell. <laughs> the, Jake is crazy as hell out here, man. It's all cut, man. People, Jake done been in the scuffles. Jake's done been stabbed. Jake done been, you know, hey, these people, man. Look, man, you're living in the last days. This when when the scriptures comes out, these damn demons are are buck ass wild, man. So if you got to get into something, or if you got to get into a scuffle, why would you want it to, you know, why would you want your 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 woman and your children to be there? If I'm going to jail, man, cuff me up and throw me on in the car. I won't want. You know what I'm saying? My kids and my 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 uh, my wife to be there. You know what I'm saying? Um, to, I mean, it just don't make no sense, man. It, it, you know. So this is what he left, and actually, I didn't even rep reply to him, but he left a reply. You know, he replies to me on a reply that I left to someone else. So obviously, you know, who knows? You know, Jake be kind of hurt, man. But this is what he wrote. Um, Psalms 112, 7 through 8. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemy. 
So this work will continue no matter opinion. Shalom. So, I mean, my opinion, actually, it didn't even go towards him. I mean, you know, it was going towards somebody else. I replied to someone else. You know, I didn't reply to him at all. You see what I'm saying? But this is what I left. You know, um, I answered him with a scripture. First Corinthians 6 and 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. So now let's let's actually get this scripture. Let's go in here and get it because I want to get this word expedient, right? Here we go right here. In the NLT it says, you say I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. And even though I am allowed to do anything, I must not become a slave to anything. So just because you can do it, it doesn't mean that it's, 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 it's wise to do. You see what I'm saying? It's not wise to take your children and your and your kids out on the, on the highways and byways, man. Because I'm telling you, we've seen all kinds of videos where where um, um, Jake run up, man, and they crazy as hell, man. And Edomites, too. You see what I'm saying? Now, do we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Of course we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But where in the scriptures where, where women were at war, man? See, that's the thing with Jake. Jake don't take don't take this thing serious enough, man. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you want to go out on the highways and byways, but go the hell out there by yourself, man. You well, Why are you going with your woman? Why are you going with your kids? Why are you going with your seed? That don't make no sense at all. Okay, so this word expedient. Let's see what it says here. Strong's G, 4851. Sumfero. 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 G4851. Let's see what it says. Expedient. To bear or bring together. To bear together or at the same time. To carry with others. To collect or contribute in order to help. To help by profitable. Be expedient. Okay, so now. Alright, we got that. Let's go off into... um. Let's let's define it through Google. Let's see what um the word expedient of an action, convenient or practical, although possibly improper or immoral. See, like you can do it, but is it smart? <laughs> Come on, man. We we've seen man, we've seen over and over again, man, through some of these videos. You know, with the brothers on the highways and byways, niggas just throwing bottles. Motherfuckers is out there with knives, guns. They want to fight Jake. You know, they they out there. You hey, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's just not wise, man, to go out there on the highways and byways with your family like that. I wouldn't advise it. You know, not if, can you do it? Of course you can. He's out there doing it. But is it wise? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It, it's not wise to do that, man. You just never know. You never know, man. It, it's about to come to a time where Esau Edom is about to get turned on. The scripture goes off into, um, let me see here. It talks about uh, where it, it basically talks about, um, um, matter of fact, let's go to Matthew 24. Matthew 24, right? Let's get with the apostles, uh, verse 3. Let me start at verse 3. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Now check this out. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. But the point of it is, is right here, it says, um, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. So if you out there on the highways and byways and they come through and they throw your ass in the back of a van, you want your woman and your kids to be with you in the back of the van? You know, <laughs> come on, man. I mean, we got to use some wisdom out here because like I said, again, we are at war. This is a war that we're in. You don't go to war, man, with your babies, man. 
Now, if you got to get on a run with them and, and, and take them somewhere, that's something different. But for you to just come on the battlefield with your children and your wife, not wise, man. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on that for You know, the so-called white woman. Ma'am, but ma'am, but ma'am, like, man, hey, just preach the scriptures, man. If she don't get it, then it is. You ain't got to be talking to them like, you know what I'm saying? You, you house nigga. You know? Anyway, though, but like I said, I, I you know, I, you know, I just replied to this other person and he happened, he just so happened to reply to me. You know, like I wasn't even talking to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was talking to the brother that actually left the, 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 the scripture. I mean, um, that actually left the comment that, you know, he found it beautiful that they was all out there together. No, that's not the way that it's supposed to be, man. Now, within the household, because he's supposed to be teaching his wife at home. She's supposed to be at home. She's not supposed to be behind the camera. And then as you listen to the video, it's just, you know, the kids all in the background chattering. This, that, and the third, they're crying, all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just go out and, and teach the scriptures, man. That's what this is all about, man. You know, we have to go out here, and sometimes we, you know, you may not have a partner. You may, you know, I was out there for, for quite some time by myself until the brother Harad, you know, um, came on the scene. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of brothers that's out here on the highways and byways by themselves. But I'm not about to take my woman out there. I'm not about to take my children out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to do none of that. I mean, I'm just, I mean, it's just not wise, man. I'm not, just in case something happened, I prefer to just, ha it, it happens, you know, with just me, if possible. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, that's love for my family. You know? That's love for my family. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that for a hot sec with that. Kwame Shalom.